Hey everybody, in this video we are going to talk about a few settings that every single Facebook page needs to have set up so that you get more out of Facebook. Now these are going to be things like setting up a chatbot, and that might sound complicated, but it's not as difficult as you think. So let's get into today's video. These are going to be very helpful tips that you can use to grow your business using Facebook marketing. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here, so if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to hit subscribe here. If you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. So let's talk about setting up your Facebook business page. I actually created a video. If you click on the top um, card up here, it teaches you how to set up a business page. So assuming you have your page set up, there's a few things that I think you have to do and make sure that you set up properly. So the first thing that I think that everybody should be doing, and especially because Facebook announced at their F8 conference in, in just a couple weeks ago, so this is 2019 when I'm recording this, but they've announced that they're going to be building their page around a few things. Number one, they're gonna be building their page around groups, their app rather, not their page, but they'll be building Facebook around groups, and they'll also be building Facebook around Messenger. So Messenger is an extremely powerful way to reach your clients and your customers. I actually created a video on how to create a chatbot if you click up there, but you need to set up ManyChat. Even if you're not going to actively be using it and sending out broadcasts and doing all of the amazing things that it can do, if you have a Facebook page and people send you messages or comment on things, or if you're doing stories and people are responding to those stories, if you have many chats set up, it will automatically sub subscribe them to your bot. So if people are reaching out and you're using Messenger anyway, especially for businesses, then it just makes complete sense to have many chats set up running in the back collecting subscribers. It's only going to benefit you if you ever decide that you want to send broadcast through messenger if you want to set up campaigns through messenger if you want to do additional messenger ads in the future it makes so much sense i think many chat is the by and far the best solution for messenger i don't have any affiliate products with them or anything like that i just use them for a bunch of clients and messenger consistently can get open rates in the 80s and 90 percent that's why messenger is so powerful I think Messenger also works really well alongside email and actually as a replacement to email a lot of times. You can use almost all the same strategies with Messenger. You're just a lot more interactive and people are on mobile phones so you typically know that they're going to be engaging in a specific way. So you, anyways, you can just do tons of cool content forms. You can do tons of cool automations. It's really simple to set up and easy to use. So I 100% suggest that you go and you sign up for ManyChat you get it authorized into your page so that you're able to start building that subscriber list. So definitely go and do that because it's very, very important. The second thing that every single page needs to do is they need to sign up for Business Manager. It is time to sign up for Business Manager. It used to be that you could have Ads Manager or Business Manager, it didn't really make a difference. But Facebook has made a clear decision that if you want to use retargeting lists and custom audiences that you're going to upload, you have to agree to those terms of service only available inside of Business Manager. So head over to Business Manager. If you're not f familiar with what custom audiences are, it's that you can upload lists of your client's emails, your client's phone numbers, and basically private data that you have to access those customers with ads. I think that this is an amazing tool. Some of the best audiences that we use when we're running ads are these custom audiences. They just work really, really well. You can also create lookalike audiences out of those custom audiences, which is awesome. So if you're trying to sell things to people that have already engaged with your business and you have an email list, this is a fantastic way to market to those people. I think that you need to be using these custom audience lists. Upload your lists and then have them so that you can show ads for middle and bottom of funnel type ads. So be sure to do that because it is a very powerful tool. You don't want to miss out on that. The last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your page is set up to the proper category of pages. So Facebook has gone and added a ton of new categories um, for different kinds of pages, and they've added different page templates based on those things. So depending on what your business is, you should be sure that it's set up in the best way possible. If you have any questions about this, be sure to comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions regarding this. But the way that the Facebook pages are, the, the features that you can use for the different pages allow you to sell products directly. It allows you to use and highlight product catalogs, 
depending on the type of, of business that you say you are. So make sure it's lined up properly and that you have everything filled out properly. So you need to have all of the pertinent information, your hours, your costs, the services that you offer, stuff like that, so that if you have a product or service that people want to buy, there's a way for them to take action. You can also optimize that call to action that's on the cover photo. And I think this is very important too. So make sure that you are using the correct call to action. So is it a call now, book appointment, um, find more information. What is it that you want them to do to take the next step so that when people visit your Facebook profile for your business, they're able to take the right kind of action. And the last thing that I think is very important is that you consider setting up a group. You can now set up a group that's attached to a Facebook page. And so if you want to be engaging your clients and customers and getting some kind of organic engagement or growth inside of Facebook, it's very difficult to get any kind of organic growth now. And so if you want to have Facebook promote and show your content to your potential clients and potential customers without having to pay for that to get in front of them, then you're going to want to start a group. So don't hesitate on starting a group. And um, I think that with groups, some of the best ways to grow engagement are just to start conversations around topics that are very important to that group of people. So if you wanted to, for example, you know, let's say you had a veterinary practice and you wanted to create a group. A lot of times the, the people that I talk to, I used veterinary as an example because I work with a lot of veterinary practices. But a lot of times they'll say like, hey, I'm just going to start posting my Facebook content on the group that I have. That's a poor decision. You want a group to be a community that you build up. And the engagement that you get inside of a community will help to get people to look at you as an expert. So they'll want to, to work with you. So, you know, for example, if you had a veterinary practice and you created a, you know, dog owners of Orange County Facebook group and you could do events and things that are going on and interesting places to go, interesting things to do. And that way you're cultivating a group of people who have a common interest that's relevant to your business that you can then monetize and use that. So I hope this was very helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, be sure to comment below. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss a single video. I'll see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.